Hey everyone, welcome to Force Conversation, the show where two scruffy looking nerf herders love to get together and talk about all things Star Wars. My name's Jay. And I'm Colin. Welcome to the show. Yay. So Colin, how are you doing? We're recording a bit earlier this week. Yes, we are. Um, Pressing matters this week means an early recording, but that's fine because um, we're closer to all the news that have happened today and... um, and Rebels is still fresh in my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine too, kind of. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll get on to that anyway a bit yeah. later on. So, um, should we just get things going, kick off and uh, start with the news for this week? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not been a super busy um, week for news, is it? I mean, there's a few stories. Um, the, the, the big one, I guess, is um, Woody Harrelson being confirmed as actually having a part in the new Han Solo movie. We talked yeah. about it a bit last week, but um, mm-hmm. uh, want to expand on that, Jay? Well, yeah, so obviously last week when we talked about it, it was a rumour that had come out of Variety. So they were saying, you know, there's a rumour that um, Woody Harrelson's going to be in the movie. And, and, you know, Variety are pretty on point. If they mm-hmm. if they say something's happening, it pretty much is happening. Um, so, yeah, so today... Um, uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller have confirmed on um, uh, StarWars.com that he is going to be in the Young Han Solo movie. Now, um, Woody's role isn't confirmed, so the rumour is he's going to be a mentor for Young Han Solo, but mm-hmm. that's not confirmed anywhere. All they've said is, yep, we're glad to have him. Um, I, I'm just reading it straight from uh, Stoles.com here. Uh, the quote is, his ability to find both humour and pathos often in the same role is truly unique. And this is the important bit. He is also very good at ping pong. So it sounds like Han Solo's mentor is going to be teaching Han to play ping pong, which we know will be useful for him in a galaxy mm. far, far away, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I'd no. be a bit concerned because... Oh. Um, Gravity might make the balls fly away. Uh, lack of gravity on the old well, ships. Depends. Well, they've got um, artificial gravity. That's why they don't mm, float yeah, around. But you know, you know that hunk of junk they fly around in. Not, <laughs> not the most again, reliable. The gravity, uh, the anti-gravity, just kicks yeah. in, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, um, ping pong. I think I can see Han Solo more as a beer pong uh, oh, player. Yeah, totally. But maybe he's him good and Lando. At maybe. Maybe he's good at beer pong. So. Um, but yeah, anyway, the the, uh, the news is that Woody is confirmed, and you know I'm I'm happy about that. The more I've thought about it, yeah, I think he'll be a good person to have in a Star Wars movie. I mean, if I think about things like uh, uh, Zombieland, for example, like Tallahassee, oh, right? right? But he's really mm. good in that, yeah, and like that kind of. But it's character. also got Metallica in the soundtrack, which makes a bit that too, yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, what I mean, like he. He needs to be cool playing that kind of role. You know what I mean? I can see that he's a bit of a scoundrel, yeah. that kind of thing. It's so, good. Yeah, it's good. He's... It's good casting. It's good casting. Possibly a little bit obvious. I, I think it was my only concern from last week was that, as I said, a mentory type role. Woody mm. Harrelson. We've seen it before a little bit. Or oh, Hunger Games. Yeah. Um, and is it? You know, but. Uh, He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Because also in uh, in Kingpin, he was a bit of a mentor as well, mm. wasn't he? In that. So at least we know he's got experience. Mentor, yeah. Right. <laughs> he's got a good CV. <laughs> um, but you know, at the end of the day, we don't know what they're going to do with the movie. Like no one knows the plot of it yet or anything. So no. you know, it, it could turn out to be something cool. Hopefully, it does. Like you know, as we've both said before, I'm not really that bothered about Han Solo movie. But uh, if they're going to make it, which they are then I hope they do it really good. And, you know, all yeah. the, well, we know it won't be it. poo. It's right. just how good it will be. So that's it. Yeah. Cool. All right. On Excellent. All right. On to our next story, my friend. Mm-hmm. And this is um, Ryan Johnson. He's been chatting away, and he? He's been having an old chimwag. He has, yeah. And they're uh, talking a little bit um, about the plot for the new film. Yeah. Tell us more, Jay. So he's not giving loads away. But well, um, there's, surprise. There's, there's a couple of articles about this, um, and he's really talking about Ray and Luke and their relationship, and that um, 
brain Luke's part is going to be a, a major part of the movie. So mm. apparently they are in the movie a lot. So Luke is in the movie a lot. Yeah. Um, th- there was actually a, a note that I, I meant to add to this, which I forgot to, but it was to do with um, the rumor about the, the, you know, the puffins on um, Skellig Mike yes. Island. And yeah. that they are going to be creatures in um, episode eight. Um, and that they're going to be a bird-like creature right, that has sharp teeth. Um, and uh, I, I think uh, something like Luke has one of them who he's friends with because you have to be allowed by them to be on Achito. Yeah, is it Achito? Is that how they... Was it Achito? I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce You're it. You're completely um, talking to the wrong person there, matey. <laughs> but, um, so supposedly Luke is allowed to be there, but Ray isn't, right? And he's oh, like no. guardians of the island. And so Ray's supposed to fight some giant sea creature. And after she fights and obviously defeats the sea creature, then she is welcome on the island. So this is one of the rumours out there. At the moment that that's... does not sound good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends how they do it. I mean, you know, it's going to be like the old... Uh, that sounds very much like the old Jason and the Argonauts kind of thing to me. Right, like some big sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. Out or whatever. I hope Johnny so, Depp plays the um, sea monster. No, savvy. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, can you imagine if that ever happens? Um, um, I saw something, and I didn't read it properly, so this is probably why I've completely got the line of the stick. I saw an article, and I didn't read the article, but I saw a few pictures with it, and the pictures were the birds from the island, and a soaker's bird. Y- yes, and and so those. Birds, the name off the top of my head, I can't remember what they're called. Um, it's that that is actually um, an article from Making Star Wars dot net, um, and they had posted this a while back. Um, mm. They were they were in the Clone Wars cartoons. Those birds. Um, oh. So if you if you go to Making Star Wars dot net, it's like right at the top of the page. It's um, a recent article. They've kind of reposted it mm-hmm. to go in line with this this story of the birds. Um, but the other thing. Um, was that episode eight is going to pick up directly where seven left off, which we've all kind of like we knew that for a while, right? So earlier on today, I was watching um, Collider Movie Talk, right, and they talked about this. As you know, I, I like their videos, and Mark Ellis, who's on their panel, brought something up, and I'd never thought of this before, but I, I'd like to know what you think, right? So he goes, okay, if episode eight picks up directly after episode seven. Mm. What's going to be in the crawl? Like, uh, hey, welcome back. That, uh, you know, <laughs> it started. <with> all... <laughs> I was like, yeah, is it going to be like, yeah, you know, all that stuff in episode seven? All that happened, and now it's episode eight. Or what are they going to write in in the crawl? Because mm. normally the crawl fills in the gap, doesn't it? Like, oh, it, know, does, it does, it does. Uh, it they've does. been to this place and that place. But it's going to be like, uh, yeah, so, you know, Luke stood there and stared at Ray for ages, and then we kind of spat yeah. around them. Now we're picking up what happened. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess it would be a recap of what's happened in Force Awakens, which would be rubbish. The only other thing is, though, what it could do is set the scenes for other elements of the story. So, for instance, if, um, I mean, we know most of it's about Luke, but we, what we don't know is what Luke's been up to, things about those birds, things like that. So mm. it could tell you some backstory that you need to about know. About the island. Yeah, about, or, like, or what whatever is going to happen in the on episode, the island yeah. or something like. Cause, yeah. Okay, so yeah, episode seven. Because we've only missing. seen what we've seen. We haven't seen all mm. what else is going on in the rest of the galaxy, and some of that might have repercussions in this film, mm. rather than be directly t- taken on from the last but one. It was an interesting point. But yeah, it's a good I, point. I thought, yeah, what would they put in there? And and mm. you know, normally you connect it up because you're aware of what they were doing. Yeah. But in this one's like, yeah, we really, really are aware of what they were doing because we just left. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the bit that Ryan Johnson talked about. Um, that was a USA Today interview. Um, and Oh, sorry. The, only, the other thing that they could mention mm-hmm. is obviously what the First Order have done since. Because obviously we don't know how it's long Kylo it took between, between Starkiller blowing up and Ray getting to the island. And it has it to could be have some been... time, right? Because... Uh, yeah. I mean, Finn's already, you know, he's in the medical bay. Yeah. Ray's changed her clothes. So yeah. does that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, so yeah. I mean, it could be a bit of touch. So, so it could give a bit of, here's what's happened to the First Order. 
here's what's happened back on base. And also they had to travel to Atch 2. Or Atch that's what I'm saying. I, I so that could, that could have took a couple of weeks. You never know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good point. You know, and the last thing we saw... Um, was everyone was, waving? Yeah. But it was... Um, 3PO got a new arm. 3PO got, got his arm, yeah, his gold arm. Um, but the last thing we saw with Snoke was he told Hux to bring, bring him back. Kylo. So... Yeah, there's probably going to be something to do with that as well. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. Right. And on to the next one. Yeah, the next kind story. Of segues from the Kylo Ren. Yeah, so there's been um, <clears throat> more talk around um, what's happening with Kylo Ren. Uh, they're talking about him, his costume and appearance. They've been talking about what he's flying around in, what mm. his new motor is. Yeah. So... Um, with Kylo <coughs> Ren, obviously we all know how he wants to be like Vader. Mm. So supposedly, uh, and th- this little bit about the costume has been out for a while, which is that he's going to be dressing a little bit more like Vader. In okay. that he's going to have a cape that he's he's managed to get hold of a cape similar to Vader's, mm. whether or not it is one of Vader's capes, because um, mm. Vader. Can you get it on eBay? Or... Sorry. Can oh, you get oh, it on eBay? Yeah. On what would Galaxy eBay be called? <laughs> Mm. Or maybe Start they've got like a local buy and sell on his Facebook. Maybe, know. maybe, yeah. He's he's got um, on his friends list someone who's selling it. And he's yeah. like, oh, dude, I really want one of these. Um, no, so well, actually, because they do talk about uh, again in one in the Bloodlines book about this big market for buying um, old Imperial Imperial the, armor yeah, and stuff, yeah. and also Rebel stuff from the um, Galactic War. So yeah, I, I doubt that. Kylo Ren would just but not on buy it. Like, I reckon he'd just turn up at the dude's door with his lights open, like, yeah, hand it over, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no swearers, Jay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, um, he's he's going to have a cape, so whether it, it is one of Vader's old ones, or he's just, you know, fashioned one himself that kind of looks like Vader's, and the chain that Vader has, so it's going to have a similar kind of, that kind of look. You know, he's obviously going for that I wonder if he's going to have a new helmet because, you know, he put that down on the bridge and then started yeah. the baseball up. So is that going to he's have, got a, to have a new more helmet. of a Vader look, more of a bit at the back or something? You know? didn't, didn't they show some concept art for this or not? Or did I dream that? For his new helmet? Well, just generally his whole, whole new look. Um, I'm sure I've I, seen yeah, things. Yeah, I, I think that there was... So this article um, came from Making Star Wars, uh, net who are, are really good as well with their rumours, and they're generally right. Mm. Um, and they do a thing where they've, where they've got the info from someone because mm. they don't have any pictures or whatever, but they'll draw what they've described. Yeah, oh. So it could be that you saw it on something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, someone's artist's done interpretation. A, well, they, it's always the same types of drawings they do. So it's obviously those guys, they take... The whatever he said, and then they they draw it, and so maybe we should start doing that. We should do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone be like, oh, "Guys, you need to stop." <laughs> but, um, do you know what I mean? So you might have seen it on that because they did one with Luke's um, new robes. You know, he's going to have some new oh, robes. Oh yes, they've done yeah. it with Ray's new robes as well. Um, I must admit, I saw, on the article about it, um, the story being more about Luke. I saw some really cool pictures of Luke. Because obviously, again, people have been getting excited. All the fans have been drawing pictures of Luke. I saw quite a good meme um, with um, Obi-Wan pulling his hood off and Luke pulling his hood off. And it was saying uh, both our um, our apprentices have turned to the dark side and we ran away. <laughs> oh, rubbish. But, um, but Obi-Wan didn't used to stitch his outer robe to his inner tunic. Where Luke does, his is all stitched in. You can see it, like... Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, they they should have covered that up. Um, but anyway, you're back to Kylo Ren. Um, the ship that he's going to be flying, so he's going to have uh, a Tie Fighter, right? Um, which uh, is going to look similar in shape. So there's a picture on MakingStarWars.net. They've actually watermarked it, but I'll I'll stick it up quickly. But you know viewers should go and check out this full article because there's a couple of pictures on there there's a lot of good information so you know have a full on read of this this um but apparently it's going to have a similar shape fuselage to the st- the uh tie striker we saw in rogue one some more like oblong like pill shaped 
Oh, and right, cool. The wings are kind of like that as well. They kind of the, they are angled like Vader's um, tie advanced, but they kind of over the top as well a bit more. It looks kind of cool. Um, and so it's going to be a first order tie advanced, which is what mm-hmm. it's called. Um, and um, it it was actually the picture they've got is is a concept. Uh, for the TIE fighter from The Force Awakens. But apparently, um, they actually built a physical one of these ships, of Kylo Ren's new ship, at Pinewood Studios. Oh, did they? Ah. So, uh, the, it exists. Cool. Kind of cool. Well, we right. just need to get a trip to Pinewood Studios then. Yeah, like, we need to get on the, uh, you know... Shall yeah, I ask Kathy tour. to send us an email? Sort yeah, something get out. a name right first, though, dude. Cause Kathleen. Yeah, no, I like to call her Kathy. That's what, that's, that's <laughs> she, what she say, tells me. Oh, she said it's all right. Oh, okay, cool. I, I wasn't yeah. sure. Uh, that's to me, right. she's hey, Kathy. If, if you're in, man, if you're if you've got an in, do it. Yeah, I'd, I'll I'll have a quick word with her because you know that'd be quite nice. Have a little quick sneak round, force force convo, exclusive maybe. And we generally say nice things. Oh yeah, it's not a lot talking about rebels, all right? <laughs> yeah. And you can't see the sets of rebels. That's all right. That's cool. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, just on the tie, I'm a bit fed up with the tie fighters. To be honest, I was hoping to see something different. Well, look, we've seen so many different versions of the of these same concepts. Yeah. At least the rebels change our ships every now and again. Well, <laughs> I suppose that the Empire liked the tie fighters. They thought they were good, and the First Order were like, "Hey, man, the Empire liked these, and they were pretty good until they lost." So yeah, we should so just... they weren't. <laughs> Maybe we should use them as well. <laughs> instead, of, instead of those X wings, they seem to win. Why don't we get some of those? <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. The X wings uh, are better. You're not allowed. You're not allowed because the the rebels they use those. No. Yeah, yeah. And also, people like Wedge and that they're X Tie Fighter pilots, right? And they can so fly X wings. All the flaws, yeah. But they can fly X wings. So surely all the other Tie Fighter pilots could fly X wings. And U wings now, and, and Y wings. It's just like dusting crops. Right here. <laughs> Flying through space. Yeah. Apparently, it is like dusting crops, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Mm. Right. So, is that all we need for today? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a, a short little news section. Um, that looks well, like about it. Yeah. Well, well, thanks for that, Jay. Thanks for that up-to-date round, round-up of all the hot news but from there is, Star Wars. There is plenty of other news out there at the moment, but, you know, obviously we just pick the bits that are most interesting. interesting to us at the time. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's a bit too interesting. There's also a lot of rubbish out there, so who cares? Not well, yeah, stuff. I mean, you know, there are little bits of non-news. I mean, if you go back to the uh, the Han Solo, the young Han Solo movie, um, MTV interviewed Diego Luna. And, uh, oh, yeah, you know, non-news, a non-news. Globes, non-news, <laughs> there's a Golden Globes. They're asking him, oh, you know, Rogue One is good and all that. So are you going to be in the Han Solo movie? And he's like, well, I don't know. I can't say anything about that. And, you know, the the news is that, well, oh, did you see the look he gave? Come on. He's not going to be in Young Han Solo. Why would he be in Young Han Solo? That's well, just... he could be. Why would he be? He'd fit in it, though, timeline. Yeah, but why would he be? And, and also, yeah, but this is the thing. younger. Because Han Solo... Well, how much younger? Because... Rogue One happens just before New Hope. Well, Han Solo's like yeah. 22, right? And in this, yeah. he's going to be Well, how old is Han that. Solo in this one, though? He's not that young. But he's going to be Alden Emmerich's Yeah, but, age, but Alden, like, what's his fate? He's in his 20s, right? Well, he looks about 30. Yeah, he does. But, but I, don't, I think he's going to be much younger than when we see him in episode 4. Otherwise, Han Solo's literally just had his mentor, right? He's mm. been hanging yeah, out Yeah, but again, with, I still um, think there's going to be Lance young, flashback. young Han Solo. Flashback. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't. I don't really see the point as well because Han Solo's not in the rebellion at that point. He's just a smuggler and stuff. And what? You're going to like force um, characters? Oh, yeah, you guys, you saw this guy recently in another movie, so uh, we want to make sure that you remember yeah, that you but, saw him. But I think nah. no. I think I think there's a place for a cameo or something of him in there, like in, in like in a in a bar in the background or something maybe, like that, doing a little he deal. Like does something. Han Solo sees him shoot someone under a table. And he's like, yeah, he's a, a good bit idea. of a space yeah. cowboy. I want to be like that guy. Hope. <laughs> some rebellions are built on hope, you say. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> right, maybe that <laughs> all the All the good one-liners it turns out he came up with. 
<laughs> he goes, ooh, scruffy just, looking. Yeah, he, just, he steals everything. We find out that Han Solo's a fraud, and he stole yeah. everything from Cassian. Can you imagine? <laughs> he just destroyed the character. Everyone's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, well, who knows? Maybe, maybe that look, um, he's going to be in it, or maybe he just really wants to be in it, which I think might be the case. Yeah, I think... Well, who wouldn't want to be in another film? Oh, I totally want to be in a young Han Solo movie. Right, well, that's enough news. Uh News, we're out. Now, next section is... Reviews! Oh, yeah. So, we've got quite a few things to review, actually, my friend. Quite a few things, yes, a few things here. Shall we kick off with uh, Rebels? Get that out of the way? Shall we get Rebels out of the way? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, your your whole um, the way you've been going on about it sounds like you weren't too uh, into this episode. What are you on first? Well, that first or two episodes? You yeah. Both, I, right? Yeah, I watched both, and the first episode I felt like I didn't need to bother watching. It was boring. So the Nothing. One. It was it was all it was all set up. Could have been done in five minutes. Um. Basically, nothing happened in the first episode. Mm. Um, and then the second episode was okay. That's my review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to be... Go into a bit, bit more nicer. detail, Jack. I'm going to be a bit nicer about it this time, right? All right. So, okay, it was called Seesaw Guerrero in it, all right? And he's um, being voiced by Forrest Worker. We see him... He didn't do his funny way, voice, so that would disappoint me. This is me. a spoilers bit, so oh, yeah, everyone, yeah. spoilers. Um, no, he no funny uh, voice. He didn't do his voice, but this is two years before, before yeah. right? And what I got from him in this is that he's not as paranoid and everything just yet. However, you can see yeah, the yeah, beginnings absolutely, of it, yeah. right? He's also not full-on like machine body. So no. something's going to happen between this and Rebels, which ho- uh, between this and Rogue One, hopefully we see it in Rebels. You know, like let us see that happen. I, I don't get, Jay. I think before we get into, I think that's why I was disappointed with it because okay. I thought this was going to be an episode where we actually see some stuff, and I think How what all that's done is just set up that there's going to be more of him later down the line. Yeah, yeah. But I thought we were going to see it this time. Well, you know what I mean, let's let's first wait. They had um, Forrest Whitaker in Rogue One. And they said to him, hey, dude, like, you know, would you be up for doing the voice for Saul Guerrero on Rebels? And he was like, yeah, like, okay, how many times would you be up for doing it? Hey, I'll do it a whole bunch of times. Cool, okay, well, we can have Forrest Wicker. Let's, uh, let's make a few episodes where we can get him in, right? I'm guessing. But, yeah, so that was good, right? Mm. That, that was the good thing. <laughs> that was the good thing. It was a good thing. But, but that was the good thing for me. Other than that, click, clack, what? He wasn't even like... He didn't do any of that, right? He spoke <laughs> totally different, right? And, um, he, uh, and uh, also, to be honest, click clack. I, I didn't mind him. Well, one thing that bugs me is this: it's the convenient forgetting that you have the force, right? Yeah. yeah. Because you have that bit, and this is the first episode. Let me just say, when I put it on, I didn't watch them um, all in one go. I thought, oh, I'm going to sit down and watch both episodes of Rebels. Awesome. And then I watched the first episode, and I was like, "Ah, I'll watch the next one tomorrow. But what happened was, I'm sitting there watching it, mm. and um, there's that bit where they have to cross the chasm, and like they see, like, uh, Chopper shines his light, and they see Click Clack on the other side, right? Yeah. And uh, he's got the thing to activate the battle droids, who mm-hmm. Zeb and Sabine are out getting this, uh, was it a shield generator, and there's all these power droids underneath the sand. Mm-hmm. And so... Kanan's like, all right, I'm going to force push you across. So Ezra jumps, boom, pushes him across. The other two, he lifts off the thing, gets them to walk across. And then um, and uh, Forrest Whitaker, Saw Guerrero, goes, oh, how's he going to get across? Okay, you've seen Jedi <laughs> before, right? So you know how like he's getting one of the across. most powerful ones ever. Right, and you, you were around him. So you know how he's getting across. He does it. He's kind of surprised for some reason, whatever. And then... Um, Ezra goes after Click Clack. Now, the other thing here is, remember that Ezra and Kanan came up against Vader, right? And they escaped, right? 
he comes up with a click back who shoves him out of the way. Right? <laughs> no. Right? But also, why would you not just like force levitate him and take the thing out of his hand? Yeah. Right. That's what would happen there, but no, or, that doesn't happen. Or just use the force to make him do what they want to know. Exactly. But they he's not. He's not exactly stuff. got a powerful mind, is he? he? Didn't look no. like he did. And so they they just forget that they have these abilities when it's convenient. And then mm. when when it's convenient as well, they all of a sudden become like the most powerful force users in the galaxy ever, which is annoying. But so there's that. Um, and and so I watched that episode. It got to the end of that, and I was like, oh, okay, well that was a bit dull. And you know, to come back off your break with a dull episode kind of sucks, oh. right? And it's a two part. So okay, maybe it's gonna get better in the second half. But I started watching the second half, and if I'm honest, I sort of started to get distracted and lose interest. I had like the internet, where I was like, oh yeah, I'm watching it, and, you know, and I just wasn't feeling it. I was just like, this is too. Nothing happened, Jay. Nothing you know happened. What? The trailer kicked the beep out of yeah. these episodes. Yeah, the trailer was amazing. And I think that's what... They didn't do themselves any justice, because so, they got me mega excited. Mm. And then they they just dropped the ball, didn't they? Um, I mean, they were, you come back on I, the I got, There were little bits that I like. I like the, when they went to get the shield generator and then they found all the... Uh, Joydickers were under, well, under the sand. The sand. And, yeah, that, was that could have been really cool, but it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happened? Um, in the second part, I mean, the, what, I got a bit excited because when the um, the Imperial ship comes along, yeah, and there's that uh, female Ray captain. Sloan, right? huh? Was that, that was Ray Sloan, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't. I don't oh, think it, it was. I, I was. And that's. Re- I saw her and I was like, oh yeah, stuff's happening. I was like, eh. Yeah, when I was thinking that was Ray Sloan, thinking, great, brilliant, right. at least that ties in, and it wasn't her. At the no. end of the credits, it was a different oh, character. Oh, you say someone else? Yeah. Like, she's been in it before. <laughs> she's been in it before, though. She's been in the car, she was in the book, wasn't she? She was in the but she hasn't been in the car, you know, that no, no, Oh, that character. That, that character yeah, 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 we've seen her before. But I, Which is why I thought it was the same person. I remember who she is. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah you know... It's one of those, um, unfortunately, it's one of those episodes where it could have been good. Yeah. Um, but it's a real downer to come back off a season break. Yeah. And, you you know, like, you want to come back with something really exciting, getting people, oh, yeah, cool, I'm glad it's back. You know, and, and I know it's going to get better because we've seen that there's a few um, things coming up in the trailer that look like, well... <laughs> We don't know it's going to get better. It looks like it's going to get better. Let's see. I'm going to still watch it. And I, I, I hate that I think I come across like I hate this show. I yeah, don't. Yeah. I really I like this show. It's just that there's things um, like this that kind of, they're a down episode, you know. I wasn't really feeling it. And yeah. I, I mean, it was some cool. I mean, I liked you get to see some rocket troopers. Yeah. Sabine was a badass in that end bit. I was like, where's this come from? I didn't realise she was any good. Well, but is she any good? Oh, well, well, she she beat up the leader of the Mandalorian Super Commandos at one point because they needed yeah. her to beat him. So That episode was boring. And, and that kind of stuff's inconsistent, <laughs> though. You know, that stuff's inconsistent. The other thing is they're, they're like the white ones. They're the prototype Boba Fett, right? Yeah. And for me, having all these Mandalorians in this... Cheapens it. It, yeah, it cheapens characters like Boba Fett because, um, and this is like thinking back, right? He was the only one that used to wear the armor, and it's like, oh, he looks so cool. Look at that. Well, in this, it comes across to me that they've gone. Everyone really likes how Mandalorians look, so let's just have loads of them in this. But I always, when I when I used to when I was a kid and I would see Boba Fett, and then you heard about the Mandalorian Super Commandos. Again, they were legendary characters that who you know the Mandalorians aren't around anymore because they yeah. in war they got wiped out and stuff and it was always like a long time ago and like in the old so uh, old republic cool. or yeah. something and that made them much cooler even if you say you go back to the clone wars and you have mm. them there which obviously they are in the canon and then but, after but, that you don't see them I'm just like okay cool I can still accept that because it still means Oh, back when this legendary yeah. war happened, these guys were around. But it's just but like even in the everywhere. canon, even in the canon though for Clone Wars, all we saw was Django. So he could, is it Django? Yeah, it's Django. I was thinking, is that his name? <laughs> um, oh, oh, Django. Uh, 
he 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 could again been a lone person carrying on the the old tradition. You know that would have been so much cooler. Well, I mean, Boba Fett's not even Mandalorian isn't. anymore. You know, it, it, so uh, neither Jango. He's a clone. So, but Jango's not either. He's just a human, like the Mandalorians of Mandalore. He's not one of them. So it's it's just like, eh, what's the point? You know. Anyway. So yeah. that's why I thought of Rebels, and what kind of went off topic a little bit there, but, you know, okay. rants. Well, like, we, it was okay. We were going to have any rants today. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. I mean, I'll give it uh, 2.5, no, 3 out of 5. I'll give it 2. two no, 2.5. Two yeah, 2.5. Two and and half. Half. I'll stick with 2.5, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's how it made me feel. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for joining us. Um, you can find us on all the uh, social medias. Um, go on to underneath this video, click the thumbs up button and like this episode if you enjoyed it, which we hope you did. Um, yeah. Or these two episodes, because this is going to be split in two. Um, and also subscribe to the channel. And also there's a little bell there. If you click on that bell, you'll get notifications of all the um, different stuff that we upload uh, throughout yeah. the week. Well, that's um, worth clicking. Definitely worth clicking. Um, you can also find us on the Facebook group where we've had, you know, some great feedback um, about the group recently from a few of the members, which we'd like to thank them for. Um, and, you know, it is a really good group. It is a conversation. Everyone's respectful to each other. It's because of the members of the group that everyone has a nice time there. Yeah. Everyone's opinion counts. Whether or not you agree with it, there's no trolling on there. Everyone's And friendly. if there was, we'd kick them out. If there's trolling, you're gone. That's it. So everyone's friendly. There's a good bit of banter goes on. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. It's great. Come along and join in. You know, everyone's welcome. Um, so you can find us there, and that's Forced Conversations on Facebook. We're on Twitter at Forced Convo, and um, you can find Colin himself at... On Captain Colin. And you can find me at the underscore letter J and underscore letter... Oh, that's, that just went wrong. Yeah. At the underscore letter J underscore tank. I have to move my hand when I do that. I, I can't do it without it. I don't know what's going on there. Well, um, yeah. Where else can and, they find us? Well, uh, I was just going to say, on all of those social media platforms, don't forget to use the hashtag Force Convo. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned the Twitter handle itself is Force Convo, didn't we? Did we yeah, it's for, at Force yeah. Convo, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can also listen to audio versions of this if you like podcasts um, you can uh, go to soundcloud and you can uh, listen to our podcast there directly um, you can also uh, listen to an audio version of this on youtube and you can definitely and i would really recommend this uh, join the taylor network of podcast feed on itunes and other places where you can get feeds um, where we are just one of many other podcasts on that network, which we're proud to be part of. Um, and some of the other podcasts include No Apologies, Nothing On, No This Bond, JK's Happy Hour, Go Trek Yourself, Double Pay Spread, Gotham by Geek, um, and that's enough for that. I'm not <laughs> plugging any more of them, but they're all good. They're all funny, um, and they're all geeky. So... Um, and we yeah, fit in really well. You can also just find us on iTunes as well, right? Oh, yeah, we're on iTunes. Yeah, so, yeah, iTunes I mean, basically, we are everywhere. We, we just we're look for us. to be everywhere. We're either force... I actually did try Googling the other day just to see how easy it was to find us. And you do have to write Star Wars in as well, because uh, otherwise okay. you get some weird stuff when, when you look for force <laughs> conversations. Uh, Probably well, wasn't the best idea for a name. But yeah. <laughs> well, if anyone has a better idea for a name, we've asked this before, you know, put it out there. However, when we did a little vote on the group, everyone wanted forced conversations, so we just kind of stayed with it. But yeah. if anyone comes up with something really awesome... You know, we're all, always open to change. As much as we said, we, yeah. we like what we know, we know what we like. We don't like change. We might change if it's yeah. really, really good because whatever. Um, so, we ain't changing the host, so you're stuck with us. Yeah, you're stuck with us. That That is one thing that is going to be consistent. <laughs> you're stuck with our ugly mugs. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, until next time. Punch May the chewy. force. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. Okay. You beat me. I was going to do your bit. May the force be with you. Always. Yeah.